as Samuel represents the Holy Spirit. Christ is the king or the head of the church. This ministry of, of, the, of the gatekeeper and the watchman and the prophetic intercessor was given to the body of Christ by Jehovah, and it is empowered and anointed by the Holy Spirit. We must move into the things of the Spirit of God. We must focus on the spiritual realm. I'm telling you, we're living in a time where, guess what? leaders and different people that just doing anything and let me tell you something and you that are outside of your position and out of character you're just following uh huh because of itchy ears it sounds good they put the rhymes and they put this word and that word the nouns pronouns verbs and adjectives it comes together and it makes you laugh it's funny to you that's right and then after it becomes funny to you you know the next thing is give me your money huh it's funny because I'm a take your money. And that's what it's really all about. It's all about money. But I'm telling you right now today, that is not the principle of the kingdom. That is not the order of God in this season for your life. Oh, Shabbat. The, the thing that God wants to give you that's most important is that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Jehovah, which is your reasonable service, which is your most intelligent service. I'm telling you right, your most intellectual Listen, service, I'm the video side. You can't reason with it. Let me tell you something. There's nothing like Jehovah. There's nothing like a relationship with Jehovah. If we could all come together in one spirit and in our proper position, I'm telling you right now, we will see another manifestation of Jehovah. We will see the presence of God come through our towns, our cities, our states, our countries, our continents, and our nations like never before. I'm the video Osiah. If my people, which are called by name, name by my name, I'm the Lady Osiah, will humble themselves and seek my face, I'm the Lady, and turn from your wicked ways. Oh, Shabbat. I'm telling you right now, we're living in the mandate in the prophetic time of the intercessor, the apostolic prophetic call of God. Oh, Shabbat. With wars and rumors of wars, we must see another manifestation. There's got to be another breakout of God's glory before we come to the place of being raptured ready. Our victory story, huh? We shall not all sleep under the video, Sire, but in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we shall all be changed from mortality to immortality and we shall be as he is, I'm the Yosiah, or like he is, I'm the Yosiah. Is there anybody that wants to go higher? I'm the Yosiah. I give his name praise. I'm the Yosiah. This is similar to how Paul and Barnabas were sent forth by the Holy Spirit. I'm the Yosiah. We give his name praise and we give God's name glory. I'm telling you right now, quicken thy me in your word, Oshaba. I'm believing that God is going to move by his spirit, not just in me, not just through me but through mankind one more time. I'm believing that we're going to see a demonstration of God like never before. Listen, I'm not concerned about what kind of car you got. Uh-huh. I'm not concerned about what you're driving. I'm not concerned about none of that. Listen, to let you know the truth, it don't make a difference to me. That's right. Why? Because I know Jehovah is the one that set me free. It was him that did it. Uh-huh. It was the power of Almighty God. If it had not been for God in my life, I don't know where I would be, huh? Every time I talk to a Christian, I talk to somebody, a believer, whatever you may call them, one of my Jewish brothers and sisters, everybody's got a story. But I want to let you know tonight, the best story wins. Oh, Shabbat. The best storyteller wins. Everybody's got something. You got people laughing at your calamities. You got people saying things against the will of God. You got people that are slow for when God is calling you to move. See, when somebody's slow for Oh, Shabbat, you just keep on moving right by them. I'm the Lydia Osiah. You better believe right now, Ah, uh, Shabbat. God will send somebody in that space that will do that thing. Under the Diosaya, let me tell you something. We're living in a time under the Diosaya that we got to believe.
We got to believe God. We got to trust in Almighty God. We can't depend on people to do God's things. And that's why you got to be quick, O Shabbat. When you see lacks, O Shabbat, slowfulness, uh, you better keep moving on. Guess what? I'm going to trust God under the Neosaya. Why? Because you know you're moving by God under the Neosaya. You can't depend on man to do a God thing. Uh huh. In 1 Chronicles chapter 9, starting at verse 22. Altogether, those chosen to be gatekeepers at the threshold number 212, and they were registered by genealogy and in their villages. The gatekeepers had been assigned to the position of trust by David and Samuel, the seer. Uh, they and their descendants were in change in charge of guarding the gates of the house of the Lord, the house called the tent of meetings. The gatekeepers were on the four sides, east, west, north, and south. Their fellow Levites in the village had to come from time to time to share the duties for seven day periods. And that's what I'm talking about. The house of God and the work of God doesn't go lax. Oh, Shabbat. And so why you think God is going to wait on you? Oh, Shabbat. I was talking to a man of God today. I'm the Diosaya. And I begin to tell him, I said, man, I don't know about all that. And I don't understand what you're saying, but I'll tell you this. Oh, Shabbat. I know one thing and I know one thing for sure. Oh, Shabbat. God is not the author of confusion. And I'm telling you right now, there's no need in dealing with negative integers. you got to be able to see positive in something. Listen, no matter what happens, if God chastises me, he did it for my good. I'm the Diosaya. Whatever happens, I'm the Diosaya. In this space called God, having a God experience and God exposing himself is for my good. I'm the Diosaya. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God promised Oshibe that I'll deliver your son out of them all. Not some, but I'm going to deliver you out of all all of them. Oh, Shabbat. And so if you would just keep going and trust in me, if you keep finding yourself in your position, you can't, let me tell you something. When you got a position and you're on post and you're on assignment, you ain't got time to be going by your feelings and emotions. No, don't nobody care what you think about it. You ain't ready. Good. Guess what? I found 10,000 other people that were. Oh, Shabbat. And before you know it, oh, Shabbat, somebody's got in your space and you were replaced. I heard the Lord said, I'm the and we give his name praise under the Diosiah and give his name glory. Lift your hands up and tell him thank you. Oh Shabbat. You better open up your mouth and say thank you. Under the Diosiah. The Lord is speaking, Ushabo. And I'm telling you right now, we're moving by his spirit. In my clothes, under the Diosiah. In the book of Acts, chapter 13, starting at verse 1. Now in such now in the church of Antioch, there were the prophets and the teachers, Barnabas, Simon, called Niger, and Lucius and Siren, Menony, who had been brought up with Herod and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. And listen, when God is about to place his hands on you and about to cause you to go do a work, you can't be in yourself and your flesh and think you got you got jurisdiction over the will of the Lord. Oh, Shabbat. See, there are certain times when the man of God would speak to you and unction you to do something. Oh, Shabbat. And look, you want to get lax and laid back. Oh, Shabbat. You want to get slow for with it. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm the video sire. They'll pass right over you, O Shabbat. It's just like that in the work of God, and it's just like that in the land right now, O Shabbat. It's like that everywhere you go, under the Diosaya. Let me tell you something. Go to the store, under the Diosaya, and you go to the meat department where the butcher is, and you get a ticket, O Shabbat. Let me tell you something. Move out of your place, and, and, and they call your number and see if they won't pass on to the next person. Get in line, O Shabbat, at a grocery store, and 
listen, leave your cart there and see if that person won't go around of you. Let me tell you something. All you got to do is get out of position. And I'm going to tell you, somebody's going to go in front of you. Somebody's going to take your spot. But this is the time for the prophetic intercessor and the gatekeeper and the watchman, Oshaba, to be in their position. I don't know which position God has called you to, but it's time for you under the Osiah to get in your position, Oshaba, that you would find order, Oshaba, because the work of God goes seven days under the Osiah. There's no cease, there's no stop, Oshaba. If you get out of place, there's some kinsmen, the Levites, Oshaba, the high priest under the Osiah. There's somebody, Oshaba, that will get on their knees under the Osiah and move into the prophetic intercessor. There's somebody, Osata, that will stand at the north gate, the south gate, the east gate, and the west gate. See, because they got to be guarded at all times, Oshaba. There's somebody, Oshaba, that shall be at the tower looking down under the Osiah, afar off under the Osiah, watching over under the Osiah, the area, watching over the people, Oshaba, watching over the young children, watching over marriages, watching over families. Is there anybody that understands, Oshaba, that there must be order in the house of God in this time. There must be order in the house of God. This is the time that God is about to lay hands. This is the time that God is about to move by his spirit. And you don't want to be out of place, not in this space, Oshaba, but you want to be found doing the will of God under the Osiah. And I thank God for his word, Oshaba. Now, Father, quicken thy me in your word, Oshaba. Quicken thy me in your word under the Osiah. Thy word quicken your people, Oshaba. Be. Thy word quicken your people. Thy word move over your people. Ah, Shabbat, another the Osiah. That order would come upon them, a Shabbat, that they would move in their position under the Osiah. Not be slow for slack under the Lord Osiah. Not going without lack under the Lord Osiah. But move, O Shabbat, with urgency under the Lord Osiah. And integrity, O Shabbat, that they would fulfill the purpose and plan of Jehovah. Let it be so today, O Shabbat. Now pray that thy anointing, the apostolic call, fall upon every man, woman, boy and girl, the blazing fire of the Holy Ghost, meet the needs of your people. Thank you, signs and wonders. Heshabo be displayed today. A fresh anointing be over your people. And I thank you for it. I give thy name all the glory and I give thy name all the praise. I give thy name all the honor. O Shaba. And the Golobo and the Osiah. Heal tonight, set free, and deliver. Let it be so tonight. Let this be the night, God, that you do something different, Lord. That your people would be healed like never before. A fresh anointing, Lord. A fresh anointing, a fresh experience, a demonstration of the things of Jehovah. And I give thy name praise. And I give thy name glory. Let it be so done. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. Seal it for your people. Healing take place. Deliverance take place. Miracles. Bless this broadcast. Continue to move over me, Lord. Bless the business. Thank you. Meet every need, all the resources. God, come forth now. All the resources, all the, the parts and the pieces be put in place for the temple of the Lord. Everything be put in place. And everything that is in place that is out of place, that doesn't fit, remove it and replace it with the proper gold and silver, with the proper prophetic intercessor, with the proper gatekeeper, with the proper watchman, Oshaba, with the proper worshiper, with the proper encourager, thank you, Oshaba, the proper giver, I'm the Osiah, and I give thy name praise, honor, and glory. It's in your holy name I pray this over your people, Yeshua the Messiah, the Holy One. Amen and amen. Thank God. I command 
Yamanda la 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 si akobo sata yanda la 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 si yeshaba baba basi yeshaba na la 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 si glory yeshaba we baba manda la la si yeshaba yeshaba na la 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 si ha ya la 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 ha shabu baba basi ya la 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 si glory yeshaba ha la 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 si hallelujah thank you I give that name praise to you all the praise glory and honor make your sons holy. I pray, our men and our men. Thank God. Well, that ends this episode of Prophetic Intercession with Hebrew Watchmen, Part 2. And we'll get back to you at another time. I pray.